Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Marijan. If you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back. Welcome to Kujo Candle Skull. Uh, today we are going to talk about the essential stuff that you need to start making candles. Um, I am part of like some groups on Facebook, candle making groups, and I see that people are asking, look, I want to make candles, but what do I need to start making candles? And for me, I just say, just get a kit. But then for some people, it's like, you know, um, like me, I went to Hobby Lobby and then I bought my first uh, picture right there. And I bought my um, wax there, my wigs. I had no idea how those things work. I had no idea that you will need to know the uh, diameter of your vessel before you pick your wig. <laughs> so I didn't know any of those stuff. Um, but here I am. I'm just going to show you, tell you how I started and hopefully it's helpful to you. So, um, when I first began, um, making candles, I only had this here, this picture right here. And, um, I used the double boiling method. So I will take, um, uh, a pot and then I'll put it on the stove and I'll put like water in there um let the water boil and then put my wax in here and then uh, pour it I mean let it sit in the water so um, the heat from the water will melt the wax um yeah so that's a double boiling method um, I also had because I, I wanted to kind of like venture out of the kitchen and I bought this um, stove portable stove and um i bought this from amazon as you can see it's really uh gross right now dirty but anyways i haven't used it in a while but i just wanted to show you um i actually bought this for barbecue purpose and uh <laughs> i ended up using for candles yeah so this was really helpful and if you don't have space and or you just want to do something on your balcony or like outside or something like that this is a perfect good idea to get this type of stove and have your um, pot on top of it with water and you know do your double boiling method now i just um i want to since we're talking about wax right now, I just want to talk about the Presso Pot. This has been so helpful to me. Um, I still have some wax in here because I'm making wax right now, but it has been really, really helpful. So I, when I bought this, I didn't really want to invest into a, a nicer Presto Pot or like a bigger one. Um, but I just wanted to try it out because I didn't know if I really wanted to continue making candles or stuff like that. So I bought this on, from Amazon and it was uh, 20 something dollars. Don't quote me on it. It's on Amazon. I bought it a long time ago. I think it was $23. Um, yeah, so um, it's been really helpful and I'm so thankful for it. And you can actually melt your wax here. You can leave wax in here for a day or two and then you come back, it's still fine. Make sure you cover it though, so there is no dust going on in there. Um, now let's move on to the stuff that you need to basically start making candles. Obviously you need a big picture and you know, uh, they actually have a, uh, a smaller one of this. I think it's half a size of this big picture right here at um, Candles and Supplies. Um, I saw it at my local Candles and Supplies and um, it's actually, this is pretty big. Um, I don't actually know how much wax it holds in here. You can add in here, but I know that, you know, obviously, here you go. Let's put it next to each other. And let's put it next to it, yeah, right here. That's how big it is. Um, so you will need this or a Presto pot. If you're doing it, like I, like I have already explained, if you're doing a double boiling method, then you will need another pot from your kitchen or something like that. Um, so a picture right here, you will need this. Also, when I'm using my Presto pot, I pour wax in here 
and then mix the fragrance oil in this picture right here so it's still helpful and useful to me um yeah and then you can make several um several candles with this um uh, by pouring the wax in here um i don't know if that makes sense like you if you want to make more than two and the same size of uh vessels then you can pour them in here pour the wax in here add your fragrance oil and then pour them into the um vessels so here you go excuse me number two is uh where you will want to put your fragrance oil i see that some people have on um, the i see that some people get this from the dollar store i got mine from the dollar store but there are like small tiny cups that you can actually get from the dollar store and then you just need it to measure your fragrance oil and i use this one right here this tiny picture i got this one from amazon it came in a kit that i bought to try making candles a long time ago so i use this one um i actually have two of them so you can use something like this um a tiny plate like this or not it's up to you whatever you want i will be careful um i'll be careful using a cup like this because i i use uh, this plastic cup to measure my fragrance oil and everything was fine but uh the next day i left it on here on the table here and then the next day i came the bottom has melted yeah it was so gross the bottom had melted and it came up and it was like melting on here so just be careful using these that's why i haven't used it i only used one and you know um that's a tip for you number two you will need vessels so you already know that when you're making candles you need wax first number one i forgot to mention that you need wax okay so depending on what kind of wax you want to use or you want to start with i think the popular one is uh soy wax um so yeah if you go to hobby lobby you can find it there or you can find it at uh, on amazon or candle science has a kit also and um yeah so um this is not about a kit <laughs> but um these are the vessels that i got from the dollar store so i went to the dollar store last week and um i saw this cute little container i usually don't buy my vessel from the dollar store but i saw this and i'm like oh my god it's so cute <laughs> actually have like different ones of them here look at this color here they are actually uh different colors so you cannot appreciate it now but uh they had a white one too so anyways you need a vessel um either since you're starting out i will go to the dollar tree and um i'll get me some nice cute little vessels um so of course you need fragrance oil if you're buying a kit most of them have fragrance oil included in the kit or not like the kit i have done a review on this amazon um starter kit that i bought um you should watch that video after this one and um, i talk about how they did not include fragrance oil and how the kit actually looks um and i made several of them they came with these little tiny cute containers and they're so super cute and i i go into more details about this on uh in that video so make sure you watch that video after watching this um number two i mean <laughs> fragrance oil so yes you need fragrance oil so if you're buying it from hobby lobby they do have fragrance oil there um if you're getting the kit make sure that it includes fragrance oil and if you're buying it from candle science i don't really know how that comes because i have never tried um candle science starter kit but uh, make sure it has fragrance oil because you will need it <laughs> um number three four five six seven eight nine ten i don't know uh, you will need alcohol okay when i first started i did not actually know the importance of alcohol and honestly it, it's so helpful because you need to wipe your vessels 
um, before you pour your wax into it. And also you need to clean inside of the vessel before you put your um, wick in there. So make sure you have some alcohol in hand. And one thing that I need to mention here is are these. So since we're talking about wicks, um, you will need some wicks. Now, I use wooden wicks. I have tried. I'm trying so hard to like cotton wicks, but it's so complicated for me. I just cannot wrap my head around it. I have wasted so much wax trying to test them and it's just not working. And this right here, I just have so many of them. I just have so many of them. It's not even funny. Um, I think I have some upstairs too. I'm not quite sure, but but you guys, I cannot stand cotton wigs, so I will not be probably not talk much about it. I know about wooden wigs, so that's what I'm going to talk about here. Um, so there is an extra small uh, wig, wooden wig, and then there is a small one. There is a medium. There is a large, extra large, and more. So, um, I bought this for my local candle supplies. And of course, I had some from um, Wooden Wick. Wooden Wick right here. I have more there. But I like the one. <laughs> I do like the one from my local candle supplies. Uh, why? Because they are, they're, they are cheaper than Wooden Wick, of course. And they do the job. So, here, uh, you will need a wick and you will need to know the diameter of your vessel before doing, uh, putting your wick in there, before choosing your wick size. So I will get into wicks later on, especially wooden wicks um, in another video. I don't know when I'll make that yet, but um, yes, you will need a wick and then you will need a wick clipper and you will need um, a wick sticker. <laughs> so basically this is how it works you take your clip you remove this from the uh, sticker add this wick on top of it and then remove it as you already have your wick plugged in here Oops. okay plug your wick and then that's it this is how you um, insert or pour, put this inside of your uh, vessel, right? So there is a little demonstration and you will need a warning label. <laughs> a warning label is very important just because, oh my God, like, you know, people don't know that, you know, burning a candle without supervising it is so dangerous. Burning candles with kids around, like having right next to kids is dangerous. So the warning label actually tells you how, uh, what you should be doing and uh, how to be safe when you lit your candle. Uh, so yeah, definitely either get it from your ca local candle supply or get it from Amazon. I got mine from Amazon. I bought this since, um, Oh my gosh, last year, and I still have more because I bought a lot. All right, you will need a thermometer. These are to check the temperature for your wax. Either you get this, this is the, um, the stick one here. <laughs> this is the most, um, what is it called? I see people using this like all the time, especially like beginners, and I, definitely will get one of this uh, ther thermometer because this is how you check your temperature. You put <laughs> put this <laughs> in the uh, uh, wax, melt in the melted wax, and then make sure that the temperature is at the right temperature before you pour your candles. So uh, most, most wax, like it will come, most wax suppliers will tell you, or it's in the description, in on their website or on top of the wax box when it comes like what is uh the temperature that you should be pouring your candle so 
keep that in mind i have this thermometer here because for me like it's it's easier than this but they do basically almost the same thing so you know i do double check i check out this because this is not 100 percent all the time accurate and i use both of them so and this one that's what you do there you go <laughs> i don't know <laughs> 73 degree in here okay so you will need a good pair of scissors you'll need a good pair of scissors to cut your wigs okay like that so cutting your wigs um because once you look at this once you add a wig in here right it's basically too big so what you need to do is trim your wig with a good pair of scissors you can get the scissors from the dollar store uh the dollar tree or wherever you want to but you will need a good pair of scissors um, or if you have if you have one of these uh, wig cutters or trimmers they have it on amazon they have it everywhere so it's up to you but a scissors for beginner you know you always have scissors at home so use one of your scissors and you'll be good um did i talk about toilet i mean paper towel Paper towel, oh my God. Whew. I've never used paper, this much paper towel in my entire life. Like basically every time you make candles, you will need paper towel to clean it. You need paper towel to clean your vessels, to wipe inside of the pictures and to wipe the fragrance oil out of you know your container or whatever. You will need paper towel to clean everything. And that's why it goes with the alcohol. So, you need paper towel, get it from the Dollar Tree. Um, what else? Yes, you will need a scale. Oh my God, this is so important guys, because if you don't have a scale, like how how would you know what uh, how much wax you're pouring into a container? So you need to 100% get a scale. It could be a kitchen scale, or I think um, for starters, just use a kitchen scale. scale because it's it really it does the job i have been using it for two years and i'm fine with it so <laughs> but um this video is not long i just wanted to come here and talk about some essentials that you need to start your making candles uh, i hope this video is helpful and i will see you guys in my next video bye